Good morning, friends. I'm headed in to get my hair cut. Good morning. The kids are working on their calendar notebooks this morning. And I am getting dinner in the crock pot. So let's see, tonight we are having savory beef with stroganoff sauce. And I have never made a homemade of this, so I'm really excited. I don't know if our kids have even had it. So it comes in two different pouches, so I just dump this pouch in first and cook that on high for a couple hours. And then right before it's finished, I dump this pouch in. So yeah, easy as step one, two. If you didn't see our other video, these freezer meals are from a company called Crock-Pot Cuisine and they have a promo code for our viewers right now. So if you want more information about these meals or you wanna try them on your own, it's in the description box below, so check it out. And I am wearing one of my new shirts that I got from the clothing exchange I did last week. It's so fun to feel like there's new clothes in my closet. So this one says, shine bright, which I thought was fun. And it was finally something that I had that would match a pair of pants that I've had in my closet in a bag since January. So I didn't feel like I had anything that really went with them, so I intended on returning them, but then I forgot and they got stuck in my closet in the bag for like the 90 days, so then I couldn't return them, and then I still haven't worn them. So when I saw this shirt, I was like, wait, I'll totally go with that. And now I think I need like little wedge black shoes, like like ankle boots, because I think that would go really cute with it. So anyway, loving that. And Lacey's wearing her new leggings <laughs> from that clothing I'm swap. I'm wearing my new shirt. Are you wearing your new shirt from it? Nice, that looks great. And Laura is wearing her new leggings. Laura, can you stand up? Can you say Thanksgiving? Thanksgiving. Can you say, what does a turkey say? Go. Say gobble, gobble, gobble. That is a turkey. Can you say gobble, gobble, gobble? gobble, gobble, gobble. I'm trying to head off to work and this little guy thinks he's gobble, coming with me. Yeah. Go. You coming too? <laughs> I'll just take them. It'll be really effective. We'll see you later. <laughs> All right, so we are building log houses this morning out of the Lincoln Logs and talking about what the pilgrims did once they arrived in America and that first winter and how brutal it was and how only 50% of them survived the first winter and how, you know, they didn't have <coughs> food and shelter and so many of those basic things that we take for granted sometimes. What are you doing, Ms. Laura? You think you found a horsey? Um, that's, that's a jaguar. <laughs> they say, they say, rawr. <sighs> there we go. Horsey. Yeah. It's not a horsey, it's a jaguar. Rawr. <laughs> Here's Isaac's finished house. It's even got a tree on the roof and more than one level. Looks pretty cool, dude. And here's Miss Elise's finished house. Cinderella and Prince Charming live there. It's got nice windows. And she found trees and a little fence for her backyard. So we're sitting here reading about the Pilgrim's first winter. And it's amazing how much I'm learning from this. Families in Plymouth all had to build just a one-room house. And Lacey said as I was reading that, just like this. And it's true. Just like the little house you're building. I had the kids run around and count the rooms that are in our house and by the time you count, you know, like the closets and the bathrooms and the garage and all the different spaces, it works out to be 12 rooms. There's only three bedrooms for our house, but you know, there's bathrooms and closets and you know, a cold storage area. And it's just, these families lived in one room. It's amazing. What are we making? Pumpkin cake. Yeah, have you had it before? Here's the recipe. This is a cake that we made at my house growing up. I absolutely love it. I'm sure it goes by lots of different names. We call it pumpkin cake. It is my favorite fall dessert. Here's a smattering of ingredients and a really cute girl. Yeah, and I never tried it. I don't remember trying it. You don't all. remember trying it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I bet you're gonna like it. You guys, you're totally learning to do eggs. Way to go. It doesn't smell that good. Yeah, not yet, huh? Ew, that looks like pumpkin pills. <laughs> 
so we're stirring it, and Caleb just looked in and he goes, Ew, it looks like pumpkin poo. And it turned out like pumpkin poo. Yuck. So you put the pumpkin base in the bottom, and you just sprinkle this dry yellow cake mix over the top. Then you melt one stick of butter and pour it over the top. I think some people call this a dump cake? Pumpkin crumb cake? I don't know, I think there's lots of different names for it. Dude, we are really struggling with obedience today. I feel like I say something and nobody responds. And then I say it again and nobody responds. And then the third time I'm like, people, what did I say to you? And they look up and acknowledge me. And anyway, I'm trying to be consistent. I'm trying to stay calm. I'm trying to expect obedience and teach them to obey. But, oh, man, it is hard sometimes. We're going to start right here. So my friend did the first one. So that's what it's going to look like. We're going to cut a strip and then we're going to loop it through. Do you think you can do that with me? Yeah. This is going to take a long time. Yeah? Why do you think it's going to take a long time? Because we have to do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, five, 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 Like that? Just like that. You did it. I always wanted to learn to do this. So this afternoon, the kids and I are going to be tying this blanket, and then the blanket will be donated to our children's hospital down in downtown Kansas City, and it's going to go specifically to children that are cancer patients there. And anyway, I have a friend who organized this, and she got the fleece, and I just volunteered to tie one of them with my kids at my home. So we'll see how it goes with the kids, but I'm really, really grateful for this chance to be able to serve together. Um, so Caleb... What do you think of the blanket? Cozy. Cozy. Would you like to get it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Caleb, do you know this is going to go to some sick children? Yeah. I just lost the camera for a full three hours. Like, anyway, I was looking right before we went to take the kids to ballet and piano, and I couldn't find it, and I was actually running late, but I was like, okay, I just have to go. So then I was gone, and I came home, and I've been looking and looking and looking. It's been like an hour. I had randomly put it down underneath that blanket that we were working on. But I did take a picture because while we were out, I had to parallel park and I have never successfully parallel parked my van and I did it today. So I took a picture. cock a doo doo cock a doo You say cock a doodle What does a zebra say? Z? Z? <laughs> That's what a Z says. A z. They don't neigh like a horse. I don't know what they say. They don't say anything. They don't say anything? They just lick. What does a zebra say? Let us know in the comments below. Or say, So here's Elise's spelling binder, and after she finishes spelling all the words, she has to pick one of them and draw a picture of it, and this is what she chose to do today. So apparently this is the word stink, and this is a picture of a girl that fluffered. She's definitely Jeremy's child. So Jeremy just got home, and Caleb is already begging and asking, Dad, check your calendar. When can I go to work with you? All right, so when are you available, bud? And, well, don't you have library story time on Tuesdays afternoons? I'm not going there. He said he'll prioritize going to work with you. You want to yeah. come to work? Yeah, I'm not going to library story. How's Wednesday looking for you? Would that work for you? Yeah. Make sure to wear some nice 
Work clothes. Yeah. All right, here's the beef stroganoff. It's got these amazing onions and mushrooms and peas. Okay, my finger looks really weird like that. It's really good. Yeah, we haven't ever had beef stroganoff before. What do you think? Good. So what I like about it is because the beef has been in the crock pot all day, it's like just shredding and falling apart, which is really good with the mushrooms and the It's like sauce. super tender. Yeah, it's really, really good. I love something. What do you want to say? Mm. First I have to After the other day where we sleep, I'm going to go to work with Daddy. Ooh, are you excited? We got it on the schedule. Good night, JS out. Hi, my name's Kemi. I'm 14 years old. I live in France and I'm grateful for all the YouTubers. You made it! Yeah. Kevin, you made it, bud!